Hi everybody, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Well, hang, hang on a second. Okay, today I wanted to, one minute. Okay, okay, that's better. Oh, sorry, I forgot, forgot you were there. <laughs> in case you're wondering what that's all about, my buddy Tony mentioned me in a video the other day <laughs> where he said I was passively, aggressively rubbing his nose in it that I have a YouTube plaque and he doesn't. But you know what? He's going to have one very, very soon. He's doing really well on YouTube. I'll leave a link to that video that he mentions me. See if you can find uh, the passive aggressiveness that apparently I was doing <laughs> and rubbing his nose in it that he mentioned. But yeah, I just uh, I was doing a quick video today. I'm feeling really good, although the weather is horrible today. Uh, you know, it's it's just one of those one of those days. It's rainy. It's miserable. It's cloudy. It's just, you know, it's one of those one of those days that you just don't feel like doing anything. Anything, anything, anything. But it's three o'clock now in the afternoon. I got my 10,000 steps in already. Probably I'll end up around 17, 18,000 by the end of the day. So that's a good accomplishment. Talking to a lot of people on the phone for business. Everything's going well that way. But I had to leave the house today. Um, and pick something up at the pharmacy and uh, on the way I noticed that there's a lot of people out. Uh, I don't see a slowdown in traffic whatsoever. I don't see like the park is full of people, There's the sidewalks are full of people, people are out walking, the, the cars are like bumper to bumper traffic and we're at a stay-at-home order. Uh, businesses are are closed. Restaurants are closed. You know, movies are closed. And they're telling everybody, don't mingle with people. Don't go outside unless you have to. Don't do this. You know, stay within your own family. And in all honesty, I don't think people are listening anymore. I think people are now have grown numb. To the numbers right it's a numbers game every day you know variants are through the roof hospitals are overrun again we have to have more restrictions uh doom and gloom doom and gloom doom and gloom and the more you call that stuff out the first time people take notice the next time okay people people okay you're right yeah we got to do this again one more time at some point, though, after a year, raising the fire alarm bells and the warning bells and everything are now starting, I think, to fall on deaths here. For good or bad. I'm not saying it's good or bad either way. I'm saying that I don't think people are listening. I don't think people are, are staying away from family get-togethers. My street had a whole bunch of cars there this weekend of people visiting each other. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't think people are, are paying much attention to this whatsoever. Um, limiting this, limiting that, saying now they're, now they're talking about shutting down parks uh, early in the evening and restricting people from going to parks. And uh, once again, your lockdown orders suck, basically. Because they they're 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 partial again. They're partial, half here, half there. Just last week, the Ontario government here in Canada was saying it's very important for the students' mental health and that for schools to remain open. And we're going to keep schools open, even though we're going under the lockdown. It's very important for their you know well-being, their health. And by the way, 
there's very few cases of transmission in schools, and they went on 98% of this, 99% of that, 99. Most teachers have never even seen a case of COVID, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then four days later, they say, oh, by the way, after the March break, we're keeping the schools closed indefinitely. Well, which is it? Like, did, did everything change in four days? Did everything absolutely change in four days? In fact, the week before, <laughs> the week before they announced the stay-at-home order, they were saying that school, not schools, but some businesses can now reopen. Well, that's gone. Like, at, at some point, we just were tired of hearing the messages, and we stopped listening. We've already adjusted our lives. We're either going to go or we're not going to go. We're either going to visit our friends or we're not going to visit our friends. And nothing, absolutely nothing, the politicians out there are saying anymore is hitting home. Absolutely nothing. Um, as far as majority of people out there are concerned, all politicians have let us down during the virus here. Good time for a tractor to drive by <laughs> you know and it it's provincial governments of one party it's it's federal governments of another party all of them have goofed up the uh, ontario conservative party have goofed up the lockdown restrictions not fast enough too easy not you know limiting things too fast opening up too fast they've done that or not being strict enough a lot of people would say the federal government has completely goofed up vaccines uh, we are now 73rd in the, in the world in getting vaccines to our populace here in Canada. Even though we were told we bought more vaccines than any other country per 100,000 people in the world. In the world, everybody. And we still only have, I think, 2.5% of our population has received both doses. That's it. Uh, so yeah, not, not great. Like no politician has done great. So this is not saying the liberals are bad. This is not saying conservatives are bad. This is not saying anybody's bad, but they haven't done great, any of them. And so there's complaints on both sides that you could give. You could easily give complaints on both sides. But every day you have them holding press conferences, telling us case counts, telling us wastewater numbers telling us we have to huckle down, we're in the home stretch. Well, you know what? The last wave I heard, we're in the home stretch as well. And we have to stick together. And we have to do this final push. I heard that the last time. And I heard it the time before that as well. And I don't think, I don't think anybody's listening anymore. And that's a bad thing. Um, it's just, they're calling it COVID fatigue. And I understand it. Like, uh, like I live alone. I'm a pretty self-sustained person. I don't need to go out very often. I don't need to do much. I am perfectly happy. I have an arcade upstairs, for God's sake. I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I miss, I miss, having family get-togethers. I, ha I miss having family game nights. I miss just popping in on my daughter and saying hi with the kids. And we're not supposed to do that anymore. Uh, yet I honestly think most people are doing it. And it's just that, that death's ear. You can only bang the warning bell so long beside, till, the, till the warning bell stops being very loud to everybody else anymore. I mean, think of a car alarm now. When car alarms first came out and you hear the car, car alarm, everybody turned and looked, what's going on? What's going on? And investigate it. Now you just keep on your daily, you just eh, beep, 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 man, eh, whenever somebody forgot to click it or forgot to turn it off when they opened the door. No one pays attention anymore. Uh, that's kind of like what's going on right now with COVID. I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think people are just numb to it now? I uh, do you think they're really being people are listening to them? They're they're staying indoors. Or I don't see the evidence right now, and uh, nothing outside that I've walked around and I've seen has convinced me otherwise. And so I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you think we're all just 
numb to anybody talking about this anymore. We're tired of the warnings. We're tiring, tired of the dire consequences. We're tired of the restrictions. We're tired of them telling us we have to do this no matter what, and it's for our own good. I kind of think people have now said, eh, um, what, whatever will be, what will be. Uh, to quote Doris Day. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I, you know what? Either way, I still hope you're having a fantastic day.